my dear students welcome to kjh academy in this video i want to discuss one group one mains science and technology topic so bird flu also called avian influenza or avian flu etc so bird flu is a one type of the flu like uh, so swine flu and normal flu so this is also one type of the flu disease so flu is very common and it's not that much dangerous but in flu so bird flu swine flu are more dangerous of course compared to swine flu bird flu is not that much dangerous but because of the bird flu there is a chance to death also so bird flu not spread rapidly person to person there is a no human transmission from so uh, in bird flu that means bird flu cannot transmit human to human but swine flu can transfer so human to uh, human through sneezing cough etc like uh, covid 19 or corona that's why swine flu is a uh, most dangerous uh, and swine flu so spread very rapidly from person to person that's why at a time hundreds hundreds of people chance to infect with the uh, swine flu but uh, bird flu is not that much dangerous so it's not transmit from person to person but it can transmit from uh, birds to humans poultry birds to humans that's why it is called bird flu okay and uh, uh, recently you can see this outbreak and this disease uh, common in india and many other uh, Asian countries. Okay, see bird flu also called avian influenza or avian flu. Okay, so this is rare in humans. It's not that much common like swine flu. But in case this is uh, anybody is affecting this, there is a chance to so death also. It can cause a serious problem, serious illness or death. Okay, so this first uh, identified in Hong Kong. Uh, in 1997 so after this uh, uh, many cases identified in different parts in different regions and different countries so cause 2 organism cause 2 organism is a virus so one type of influenza viruses so one type of influenza viruses cause this uh, uh, bird flu okay bird flu swine flu and normal flu caused by influenza viruses but influenza viruses uh, different varieties different strains uh, they cause different types of flu so here bird flu caused by the so h7n9 influenza virus or h5n1 influenza virus compared to this this is a very common most of the bird flu cases because of the h5n1 influenza virus so at least you try to write one causative agent virus that is influenza virus particularly h5n1 influenza virus here h and n are proteins h is equal to hemoagglutinase n is equal to neuraminidase so based on this they are given name and there is a lot of modifications in hn1 that's why h2n2 h3n3 h4n4 like this many varieties of subtypes are originated okay and here migratory birds are natural carriers so migratory birds they carry this virus from one place to another place so here poultry turkey poultry birds generally contain this virus and uh, persons who are working there are dealing with them okay are staying there handling them so they can chance to get this uh, bird flu so virus but here migratory birds generally transmit this virus so from one place to another place one area to another area one country to another country so that's why natural carriers for this bird flu virus is migratory birds okay and next <coughs> see this slide it's very clearly some more extra points present in this uh, slide okay see influenza so subtypes here you can see down influenza subtypes there are nine known subtypes of uh, h5 viruses h5n1 h5n2 h5n3 h5n4 h5n5 h5n6 like this so uh, there is a change mutation in this there is a chance to originate of different different types of subtypes h2n2 h3n3 h3n4 h5n7 so like this different different combinations okay and uh, different combinations of ha and na proteins are possible 
I'm already explained and H7 into virus designated influenza virus subtypes and has H7 protein and NA2 protein. So H5N1 virus and H5 protein and NA1 protein. See H5N1 virus meaning HA5 protein and NA1 protein. Okay. All known subtypes of influenza. Okay. A virus can infect birds, expect subtypes H1 N and Okay, N10, okay, and next uh, there are 11 known NA subtypes present, okay. So, here subtypes uh, HA means uh, hemoagglutinin and NA means neuraminidase, okay. So, these are the proteins, okay, and viruses are divided into the subtypes on the basis of two proteins on the surface of the virus. So, hemoagglutinin, neuraminidase, these are the proteins. So, based on this, viruses are subdivided. That's why here H1, N1, H2, N2, H3, N4, H5, N3 like this. Okay. And uh, next here. So, mode of transmission. So, this transmit from bird to humans. Normal birds, migratory birds, poultry birds. Okay. And wild birds, etc. So, human to human transmission very very rare, almost all not possible, but this is commonly transmitted from birds to humans. So, that is why persons who are working in poultry, poultry workers, so handling their eggs uh, or cleaning their metal etc, they can take care about of this uh, so infection. Okay. See here, contact with uh, wild birds and uh, domestic poultry like uh, chickens, uh, turkey and ducks, particularly poultry workers who are working there, okay, who are collecting the eggs, who are collect cleaning their fecal material or who are uh, so cleaning that area, they are chance to infect this more because their excretor material, fecal material contains virus, so they enter in their body, okay, when they inhale the dust containing this virus, uh, so, and the chance to infect this uh, so disease. So, this way it is only transmit from birds to humans, wild birds, domestic birds, migratory birds, uh, act like a so reservoirs and host, okay, they transmit so into the humans. See, infected bird feces, so nasal secretions or secretions from the mouth or eyes, these are contains virus. So, after touching of them, so again placing that uh, hand uh, in nose, eyes, throat, etc., mouth, what happened? Virus enter in our body. Or after, uh, sometimes uh, uh, because of the air, in case uh, uh, that virus present in that area, that area, what happens? Uh, dust, okay, uh, virus containing dust enter in our body, there is a chance to cause of this uh, disease. Okay, you see it's very clear how a a uh, hen or a bird transmit this virus to others. First you see here bird flu virus present here. Okay, so directly enter into this person body or handling of these birds directly touching virus and they're touching the eyes, nose, mouth, virus directly enter. Okay, so healthy looking birds but can still spread bird flu. So, uh, generally we think birds are healthy, okay, but healthy birds also here chance to transmit this uh, disease. See, because of the bird flu, there is a chance to mass death of birds. When bird look healthy, even though they contain virus and transmit to humans, okay, and uh, see here, uh, flapping wings, moving wings and scratching and uh, shaking head by because of all the reasons what happens so virus spread into the uh, the surrounding area or virus enter into the air you can see here because of this virus entering because of this virus entering because of this virus entering see bird flu virus in the air or in droplet or dust because of the moving shaking round etc what happens are because dried their feces okay so you virus containing dust or virus contain droplets etc enter into the air when you inhale them they enter in our body okay so virus enter through the eyes nose mouth so etc and finally enter into the lungs because disease so like this bird to human by different methods different ways 
okay so that uh, virus enter into our body and next uh, human to transmission is rare cases incubation period 2 to 5 days okay generally deaths also not that much like swine flu but uh, sometimes uh, so person chance to death also and next uh, symptoms symptoms of bird flu so cough diarrhea so respiratory difficulties breathing problem okay sometimes sneeze cough fever okay see fever over 100 above and uh, headache uh, muscle aches uh, runny nose sore throat etc so normally uh, in um, uh, same like symptoms like swine flu okay so these symptoms same like swine flu but swine flu uh, infection very severe and uh, uh, lungs chance to damage and uh, here uh, difficulty problem and chance to death in swine flu but bird flu is not that much problem but symptoms same like uh, swine flu so these are the common symptoms in bird flu and swine flu particularly in bird flu you can see uh, headache uh, muscle aches uh, runny nose sore throat etc so these are the symptoms in bird flu and next uh, so greater risk of containing uh, h5n1 if you are some persons are chance to more risk to h5n1 influenza virus okay particularly persons who are working poultry or handling uh, the poultry material are cleaning uh, cleaning uh, who are involved in that cleaning of that area they are, are anybody touching migratory birds any are visiting new places where migratory birds are very common like this some persons are more chance to infect uh, this h5n1 influenza virus so this virus cause uh, bird flu okay so here so greater risk of uh, contracting h5n5 uh, influenza virus in case you are a poultry farmer a uh, traveler visiting affected areas exposed to infected birds and some who eats the undercooked poultry or eggs okay like this some persons chance to infect more this h5n5 who are the persons who are working in poultry industry or poultry farms who are collecting their eggs persons who are traveling migratory birds areas where this bird flu very common and the next uh, eating of undercooked uh, half boiled or uncooked eggs and uh, the meat uh, chicken chicken so they are chance to infect more to this disease and next see bird flu and dangers to humans it's very clear so infection with type a uh, a virus h5n5 most virulent birds are flu viruses and uh, mutagens uh, mutate mutates uh, rapidly so that's why you can see different different subtypes different varieties and humans infected by okay, close contact with live infected poultry see like this he is uh, handling this boards directly viruses entering into the this person body and develop a swine flu okay and uh, birds carry virus and excrete in fecus which uh, okay so dries becomes and enter into the so our body next humans have no immunity against this virus okay so human infected with bird flu could severe a, a new genetic subtypes that can be transmitted from person to person so like this okay rapid deterioration viral pneumonia and leading to the respiratory distress etc common because of this okay so who february 20th 2006 human infection remain are relevant they declared like this and next uh, diagnosis so particularly based on symptoms we can identify that is a uh, bird flu and uh, next uh, molecular test uh, elisa test also is there okay based on symptoms and molecular test okay next to uh, treatment uh, sometimes same like treatment like a uh, swine flu uh, to control this virus load control this virus multiplication doctors are giving antiviral drugs to treat this uh, disease they are giving particularly antiviral drugs see doctors are not giving antiviral drugs to control the uh, japanese sense uh, particularly in chikungunya etc because person normally developed immunity within the five to seven days but here so generally persons not developed immunity immediately so that's why controlling of viral load compulsory okay reducing of viral load and uh, okay here controlling the uh, increasing of uh, virus in our body compulsory that's why doctors give some antiviral drugs 
okay so what are they tamiflu also called oseltama oseltamivir and relinza also called zanamivir and uh, okay rapivab also called so peramivir so like this tamiflu relinza rapivab these are the swine flu drugs uh, control the virus multiplication in our body and uh, these are the stop the so virus multiplication in our body and automatically then person developed immunity and next uh, prevention methods control methods okay particularly persons who are working in poultry industry poultry farm they should compulsory take precautions uh, wearing a mask compulsory by handling uh, okay so birds and their material at the cleaning time spraying off uh, so here uh, some chemicals compulsory to, compulsory to destroy the virus okay and avoiding contact of migratory birds avoid uh, avoid of eating of migratory birds uh, materials eggs and uh, killing the birds okay avoiding touching of the bird fecal material etc these are the some preventive methods uh, to control the so uh, here bird flu see here cook chicken thoroughly because uh, bird flu virus uh, so present in a bird okay a uh, half boiled uncooked food enter through a uh, half boiled uncooked food so virus enter in our body that's why uh, cooking this chicken thoroughly or boiling of eggs thoroughly compulsory to prevent uh, this uh, entry of virus and next uh, avoiding foods containing raw uh, okay uh, or uh, undercooked eggs so raw eggs and uh, raw food is not recommended so because they chance to contains particularly chicken eggs because there is a chance to so this uh, uh, virus and avoid uh, touching surfaces that are contaminated with bird droppings bird fecal material okay there is a chance to enter in our body so through our nose by touching them Okay, and keeping them into nose, mouth, etc. That's why avoiding touching of surfaces where bird fecal material, birds material present. And next, uh, limiting the restriction or ban the shipments of live birds within the and between the countries that have bird flu epidemics. So here, uh, live transport of birds from one place to another place, what happens? There is a chance to entry of virus from that area to this area. That's why there is a ban on or controlling of exporting, uh, importing of live birds from one country to another countries. Okay. And next, uh, avoid contact with live birds and poultry. Okay. In case you are uh, uh, handling them, uh, wearing mask and cleaning that area, okay okay otherwise uh, without these precautions there is a chance to so transmission of bird flu from birds to humans okay and people who work with the poultry should follow infection control practices i am explaining this only and next do not go near or touch bird droppings or sick or dead birds anywhere sick bird present dead birds present here uh, uh, here uh, don't go that place or don't touch that bird or otherwise what happens maybe the, the death of bird because of the virus what happens virus enter in our body there is a chance to bird flu so that's why so here don't go to near near or touch bird droppings or sick or dead birds okay and uh, so next preventing the spread of bird flu is a global effort and uh, destroying the birds carrying or suspected carrying the virus so here mass killing and uh, next burrowing them in so soil okay uh, is uh, preferable to control the this bird flu so anywhere bird flu identified any poultry farm uh, generally farmers and uh, government advice to kill them and uh, okay buried them underground by uh, by spraying chemical etc okay this helpful to control the transmission of virus from one place to another place so like this destroying the birds so carrying uh, this suspected virus okay and uh, disinfecting the farm equipment clothing and boots gloves etc helpful to so control the this disease and recommendations for travelers uh, uh, travelers region with bird flu outbreaks avoid domesticated birds wash your hands in case you are touching any birds okay so wash your hands and avoid some places where bird flu is, is very common okay and uh, next now some model questions 
like uh, important questions so first one what are the factors that cause bird flu how does it spread and discuss its preventive measures so here dear students total three topics present uh, in this uh, question or you can write your answer in three sub side side headings three side headings one is uh, factors factors means uh, here organism okay what are the factors cause the bird flu bird flu caused by virus influenza virus so particularly so h5n1 influenza virus and there are many other subtypes also present h uh, indicate one protein n indicate one protein hemoagglutinase neuraminidase so there are many other subtypes also present in this okay so there are there are many mutations and subtypes like h2n2 h3n3 h4n5 like this but major main virus so uh, this uh, bird flu is h5n1 influenza virus and how does it spread so right side heading like this mode of transmission first side heading so causative agent or factor dear students here you convert question into a side heading you are side heading present in that question only for example in this five side, first side heading factors which cause bird flu or bird flu factors first side heading second side heading mode of transmission how does it spread mode of transmission or bird flu spreads following methods like this question itself contains side heading or you use side headings okay side heading words which are present uh, in your question so here mode of transmission side heading are so here bird flu spread uh, through following methods following ways this is second side heading how it is spread bird to human person who are uh, working in that poultry area poultry farm or uh, okay uh, near that poultry okay are dealing with that poultry working in that area cleaning uh, that area okay they are chance to infect and the next in case anybody is taking raw food uncooked food half boiled food eggs chicken etc they also chance to infect this and uh, because of the birds then their droppings uh, that dust uh, contain virus when we inhale them they enter in our body okay and uh, next uh, migratory birds generally mainly main uh, mainly uh, reservoirs they transmit one place to another place that's why uh, taking care about the migratory birds compulsory avoiding touching their material so compulsory like this uh, so these all are the mode of transmission preventive measures means uh, reverse to the so cause avoiding visiting uh, that migratory birds areas and covering our uh, mouth nose so while okay treat, uh, cleaning in poultry okay a person who are uh, working in there taking precautions compulsory so these all are the some preventive measures and next uh, trace the relation between poultry and bird flu explain how we can prevent its transmission from birds to human beings so again dear students this contains uh, two parts one is relation between bird flu and uh, poultry and second one is uh, preventive methods from birds to humans so first side reading like this so relation between okay bird flu and uh, humans okay relation between poultry and bird flu okay not bird flu and birds and the poultry and bird flu so first side reading once again relation between poultry and bird flu yes so bird flu virus h5n1 influenza virus present in birds so particularly poultry birds this virus is very common so virus present in poultry birds enter into the human by different methods different modes working near the poultry farm okay our poultry birds cleaning that area handling that material okay or uh, they are transporting from one place to another place so that's why direct relation between the here poultry and bird flu 
okay because bird flu virus first present in poultry birds only like turkey hen etc and uh, they transmit from birds to humans okay and second one explain preventive measures preventive measures from birds to humans okay so again same copy paste avoid touching of bird fecal material and uh, persons who are working there wearing mask compulsory okay disinfect spraying of chemicals uh, in that area compulsory okay avoiding touching of uh, their material again touching of our mouth nose uh, for compulsory okay like this uh, uh, particularly this transmit from bird to human so that's why by taking extra special care persons who are working there so we can control the transmission of this disease from birds to so humans and uh, migratory birds especially migratory birds carry this virus one place to another place so that's why uh, killing migratory birds or eating migratory birds not advisable and uh, eating of uncooked half boiled eggs and chicken so not recommended because they may be contain so virus so it is not that much dangerous it not transmit human to human but it transmit to bird to human so that's why okay by taking special okay, uh, precautions we can control the transmission of this virus from bird to so humans so like this uh, dear students uh, so i am concluding uh, this video up to here uh, definitely you can expect one question from this because uh, recently this outbreak is very common and this bird flu uh, identified in many areas uh, many states in india many countries uh, worldwide okay so thank you thank you very much